Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And what I got for you today is a new review of a new quadcopter, the Kaideng, or Kading, K-A-I-D-E-G, uh, KDK60 quadcopter. Now this quadcopter is unique um, and from other quadcopters in this price range, about $50, I believe it's $53 for this one in particular currently, in that it has an advertised range of 300 meters. Now for a toy quadcopter, especially one down around $50, that's, that's pretty astounding, if that's true. We're going to test that today. We're, well, we're not going to go all the way out to 300 meters, but about 150 meters. We'll go down to that pylon down there here at Satellite Lake. We have a nice windless day for doing such kind of testing. Uh, before we go off, let's go over some of the features of this quadcopter. Yes, it has a 2 megapixel camera with a camera lens that can be swiveled up or down. Um, it has an on-off switch on it. It uses the... Uh, uh, SEMA X5C 500 milliamp hour battery, I guess 650s will also fit in there too. Um, it's standard uh, geared propellers, um, features that it has, it has, uh, uh, it does have headless mode. Here's the headless mode button. It has one key return, which is that button. Um, it has high and low rates, and it also does a, uh, a flip. Now in the headless mode, they, they claim it's a stumbling head, headless mode, so it might be what we see on the U. Uh, 807 where it does a wobble while in headless mode, a, a stunt. <laughs> I'm not really a fan of that. Um, for the headless mode, we're going to we're gonna take off here from the pits. There's nobody here today. Hopefully I won't get any grumbles from the club. <laughs> I'm going to use that as the base heading. Oh no, we'll use he uh, Owens Peak off in the distance as the base heading. I'll point it off in that direction. And I just got an email. I don't know what that's about. I'll find out later. <laughs> Third, I got the transmitter. Binding it to the quadcopter. Now one thing, we want to make sure, since we're going to be doing some long distance flying, what if we lose range? So I'm going to give it some throttle, then I'm going to turn off the throttle, 1001, 1002, so after two seconds it will drop. That is what I want to see, so that it doesn't do a flyaway. Okay, let's rebind it again with the transmitter, turning the transmitter on, pointing it to Owens Peak. I'm going to get to the quadcopter, so heading is set. Um, turning on the camera. Here's the video camera button. Here's the uh, still photo, and here's the light button. Let me verify that the camera is recording. That we got a red light. It's recording. Let's go for a flight. Now there's a little swivel button on here. I have no idea what it's for yet. We'll find out. Very stable. Trimming. Very stable flyer. Let's go down the field. I'm in beginner's rate. This is its first flight, by the way, folks. I want to see, can I make it down to that pylon? Or get near it? It's... <laughs> It's got damn good range. Yeah, I think I'm over the pilot now. Very stable flyer. This just might have 300 meter range. Now that, you know, I've never seen that advertised for a uh, mini sized quadcopter. That's just astounding if this really does, can go out to 300 meters, but it's flying very smooth. I must say right now. Up to the far end of the field here. So you're seeing its video for the first time. I hope it's not too uh, wobbly. But yeah, this seems to have great range. It has at least 100 meters. I'm way out there. Okay, let's go to higher rate. Bring it down low. Hello there. This is the highest rate it's got. So this is not an acrobatic quadcopter. Yeah, this is designed for aerial video. I can tell that right now. It's nice and stable flyer. And it's intended uh, to take videos. <laughs> I hope its camera is worthy of this. Going back to low rate. 
so I can see which way it's pointing. I think it's coming back to me. Let's bring it back. I'm going to turn off its uh, camera here shortly. I'm going to land it. I think we got enough view of the camera. Now we're going to take some... Uh, I want to save the battery power is the reason. So I want to look at some other features of this quadcopter. Okay, camera is coming off. Let me verify that it turns off. Oh, it's off already for some reason. Okay, it's camera's recording again. I don't know if I got enough video. Let's set it up around one more time to show its video. I don't know why that camera turned off. And I got a flashing light there, so I'm going to keep it in close. Let's bring it in again, and I'm going to turn off the camera. Okay, camera coming off. Okay, I got green. Okay, now let's test that twist stumbling. That was the heading we set for headless mode. Turning on headless mode. Oh no. That seems to be the heading for headless mode right now. It seems to be, battery seems to be weak right now. Okay, it's battery's just about done. So that's, <laughs> it uses up the battery pretty darn fast. That 500 milliamp per hour isn't uh, very strong on it. So that's the end of this flight. I'm going to try this again with a lower or a higher power battery than that 500 milliamp per hour. Um, we did see that it gets pretty darn good range. Uh, I was getting out to about 150 meters, I'm guessing, uh, by going past those pylons there. But what I need to do um, is actually, actually, I want to also look at uh, the quality of the video from this. Does it have a lot of uh, jello in it? Now, the stock battery that comes with it, I don't know. It didn't seem to want to power this very long. Um, it, you know, it ran out of uh, a relatively short time. I want to do some flights without recording to see if this camera might be the cause. Because so, sometimes these cameras can really suck a lot of juice from the quadcopter. Okay, so this quadcopter 101 for the, with a first look review at the K60 KD, uh, long range quadcopter. I um, hope you enjoyed the flight, quadcopter 101, signing out.